another uh, special edition of the Birdhouse. Uh, my name is Justin Nelson. My name is Eric Dyer. Yep. Um, today we're going to do our TNA Lockdown 2010 predictions show, um, uh, which will be at the Fayetteville Arena, live in St. Charles, Missouri, right down the road, which we will be attending, of course. Um, okay, so the first match we're going to go over here. We have a uh, steel cage, which obviously every single match, pretty figure out by the name. Uh, every single match is going to be in the steel cage, not in the six sides of steel like we're used to, or if you're used to if you ever watch TNA, because of Bischoff and Hogan. Thanks, Wait guys. Um, is too childish, I guess. Whatever. Um, okay, so the first match we have steel cage for the lethal lockdown numbers advantage. Uh, RVD representing Team Hogan. Uh, Storm representing Team Flair. Um, this one, I'm going to go with um, James Storm for Team Flair because I actually think the Team Hogan is going to win this. I know it sounds awkward, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to go with RVD because I have a feeling that even though in past history, whoever won the advantage won that, lost that, but I think it's going to change this year. So Not every year, it's just my thinking. I don't know. I'm worried about that. Okay, okay um, so... Uh, Second match is Team 3D versus The Band. Mm -hmm. Which is Six Pac and Scott Hall, not Kevin Nash, which you'd be used to because he's going to match though. And Team 3D is Bubba and d <laughs> yep. I'm going to go with Team 3D okay. on this one. Uh, I'm also going to side with my uh, partner here. Um, basically, my knowledge, or my, my thinking right here is that I think Nash is actually going to win against Young, which obviously Nash representing the band, so I don't think they're going to have a full out blow. A blow out of the uh, band, so I actually think that one is going to win, one's going to lose. So I got Kanash and the other one, but we'll come to that in a minute. Uh, third match, we have a little interesting one here. Uh, I haven't seen one of these in a while. TNA is used to doing these kind of weird double title things, but um, I haven't seen it in quite some time. We have a steel cage for the Knockouts Tag and the Knockouts Women's Championship. We have the Knockouts Tag Champions, Beautiful People, which is Velvet Sky and Angelina Lar and um, sorry Madison Rain, not Angelina Love anymore, versus Angelina Love, uh, who is the Knockouts Champion, and Tara. Um, basically what I'm thinking here is I'm going to take Love and Tara um, because um, I actually kind of see something to where they're going to move on as the tag champions and Angelina's going to move on as the women's champion. There's kind of going to be some dissension caused there and might lose it down the road and then they'll probably feed over the, um, the women's championship. I'm going to go the opposite of him. Okay. The <laughs> full um, people because they're the tag team, and it's going to be tough to be a tag team that's been together for go. so okay. long. Um, <laughs> number four is, like we were talking about, it's Team 3D versus the band. It's Kevin Nash versus Eric Young. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Kevin Nash, the veteran, the guy who's been in many steel cages. Basically, which we, what we thought about, this is pretty much my little thing that we both said. I'm going Nash as well, just because I want 3D, the other one. I don't think it's going to be a total blowout for either side, either the faces or the heels. I think that um, Nash can go over this match. Okay, so, uh, fifth one, um, we have a, uh, for the x title, we have a triple threat steel cage match. Um, it's a little bit different not seeing the uh, escape match at um, Lockdown this year, um, which is a little unfortunate because those usually are one of the highlights of the cards. Um, but any, no matter that, um, we have the newly, well not really newly because that's really what he's based around, the, you know, Matt Wrestler guy, Douglas Williams, we're just going to call it Doug because I think Douglas is stupid. Um, versus Shannon Moore versus Kaz. Kaz is the actual number one contender for it. Shannon's actually been feuding with Doug. Um, for this one, I'm actually going to go, I don't really know, not really an upset, but I'm just going to go with more feud based thing. I'm going to go with Shannon Moore. Um, pretty much he's got ties, you know, kind of going through it. They're trying to get maybe uh, the other, get Matt to come over to TNA. So I don't know. It could, it could work. Matt Hardy, I'm talking about. Could work, but um, I'm going to go with that one. Maybe going more X Division style, which they need to go with. I'm going to go with Doug. Douglas. Yeah. He's going to Douglas. Yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> trying to. He's, he's a champion. It's going to be hard to yeah. be a champion. It works. It, he's, got, he's got good. Uh, he's got some good heat right now because of the whole, you know, not really an X Division type guy. Number six is another steel cage. These are more of the main events right here, so these are kind of the highlight of the show here. Uh, Kurt Angle versus Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson won the ladder match a couple, week at, a couple weeks ago on TNA, so yes, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Mr. Anderson. Yeah. Because he has the key yeah. to the cage. Anderson's got the advantage with the cage. Um, I'm going to go a little bit farther than the, you know, just looking at that. Kurt has actually been talking about leaving for a little bit, taking a break. Well-deserved break, uh, by the way. Um, and so I'm actually going to side with Anderson here. Um, I actually think it makes sense, storyline and outside of it. 
for Anderson to win this. I don't believe he wanted uh, Destination X. I know they had their kind of just got involved in against a lot, but um, I'm going to go with Anderson here. And uh, okay, we got uh, sub main here, uh, with seven match. We have uh, the stable of lockdown. We have lethal lockdown, uh, which is Team Flair versus Team uh, Team Hogan. Team Flair consisting of the Captain Sting, uh, Beer Money, and Desmond Wolf. Um, versus Team Hogan, consisting of Captain Abyss, uh, RVD, Jeff Hardy, and uh, Jeff Jarrett, right? Who is finally actually being featured in somewhat of a good match. Um, so anyway, so leave the lockdown. As I said earlier, since I went with James Storm, I'm actually going with Team Hogan, even though it looks like, you know, um, they're all, you know, beat up and all that stuff. That's what they want you to make believe. So I'm going to go with Hogan on that one. I'm going to go the same thing with Hogan. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious he's going to be the guy going ahead. They want to really push the Hogan aspect over there just to get the people that, you know, can relate to that. Okay. Uh, the last one, last one we're going to do is uh, D'Angelo Williams, the Pope. D'Angelo De Niro. D'Angelo De Niro. It's <laughs> all right. <laughs> D'Angelo De Niro versus AJ Styles, the champ. Versus the phenomenal AJ Styles, the best professional wrestler in the business today. Um, I'm going to decide, of course, I'm going to mark out a little bit here. I'm going to side with the Phenomenal Age of Styles. It makes a lot of sense to do this. Um, basically, I don't see De Niro as the world champion right now. It doesn't make too much sense. Styles is going to keep that a pretty lengthy top run run with Flair. I'm going to go the opposite. Okay. Go with Pope. He's going with Poop, as um, we call because him. Because AJ's been tiled for a while. They're probably going to try to get some of De Niro's fans back into it because it would work. he's a number one contender. Uh, that wraps up yep. the, another special yeah, edition of the Birdhouse. And always remember, Keep straight edge, kids. Yeah, spiffy day. Yes. <laughs>